This is Ellie coming to you from Australia, also known as The Future. Hello to everyone who's seen me for the first time and hello and welcome back to all of my wonderful subscribers. Oh, I have the wackiest lives, I'm going to tell you now. I was in the middle of a live and then suddenly there was a knock at the door. It was actually someone that I was expecting, but they were very early, sent the dog crazy. I had to shut down really fast in order to get to the door and sort everything out. And um, I'm not even sure that I closed the live down properly and then the live was taken off and I've had to retrieve it and figure out what the problem was. And hopefully, by the time you see this video, the live will be sorted. I don't know what day <laughs> you're going to get to see it, um, but uh, it was mayhem. Anyway, but it was a really good live. So thank you very much, guys. And I can't remember what the live is called, but I think it was called something about... Um, the crazy cronies or something and, and chatting about the crazy cronies. It was just an impromptu live that went a bit mayhem at the end. Anyway, so on to other things. Today in my land, which is on Friday, uh, so I'm guessing it's Thursday in America, um, Alan Weisselberg, the Trump org CFO, pleaded guilty to 15 counts of some kind of tax dodginess. And he is going to be spending the next uh, three to four to five-ish months at Rikers, which is a lovely hurrah for him. I think that's going to be, he actually took a plea deal. Um, and so that's the best they were able to give him on the condition that he is willing to testify against the Trump organization. Now, he said that he's willing to testify against the Trump organization but he's not willing to testify against any of the Trumps. But the Trumps are the Trump organization. So I'm not sure how he's going to split that hair. And I think that a little bit of time at Rikers is going to help him to remember that if he doesn't deliver the goods, then the three to five months that he's currently getting could be extended to a number of years. Remember I did a reading on Alan Weisel, Weiselberg, oh, I don't know, about um, eight months ago, saying that he was going to wait until, he was going to be the loyal knight and wait until the very, very, very last minute. And then he was going to take a plea deal. Well, it looks as though that's exactly what happened. Um, he actually just basically made the agreement the day prior to declaring that he was um, accepting a, a guilty plea on those 15 counts. So this is for tax uh, related crimes over the course of 16 years in which he failed to declare or to calculate um, what he owed to the government based on a couple of million dollars worth of income. So that's actually really quite, quite nice for the government. I think um, I'd like to take a look and do a full reading at the Trump about the Trump organization. And um, let's just see how it's going to fare in the foreseeable future. Let's take a look at the Trump Organization. I'm just going to do a full reading. I want to find out a little bit about the livelihood, longevity and um, general outcome for Trump Org based on current events. The fact that um, Ellen Weisselberg is now willing to testify against the organization as a single entity and um, whether or not there's any other collateral damage that we're going to see as a result of his uh, agreement to take a plea deal and cooperate with the Department of Justice. So, and actually, um, I don't know, this is, I don't know whether this is being dealt with in Manhattan. The Southern District of New York. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be clarification at the top of the screen. <laughs> Let's have a look. Now, I think Letitia James is the one who's already shut down uh, the Trump Foundation before. So what's going to happen to the Trump Organization as the result of current events? So we have the signifier, that's for sure, and the challenge card, conscious thoughts, 
subconscious thoughts, the past, <laughs> and the short-term future. Okay, so the signifier is the Page of Cups in reverse, and it's challenged by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse is about um, being preoccupied with material possessions and wanting things easy. It's challenged by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which is about basically the collapse of a big entity or the fracturing of a big entity that where a number of people work towards a common prosperity. I think we have our answer already in the baseline. This is a materialistic organization that wanted to do things the easy way. That includes things like cutting corners and not paying taxes and, and doing things in a sh sort of a shoddy way. And what it's challenged by is the fact that the organization itself is falling apart or is destined to fall apart. That is the baseline. Looks like we're already there. So the two of pentacles in reverse is um, on the conscious level. And this is about unemployment. It's about being um, let down, being really lazy or um, uh, sort of um, sort of unskilled in some way or sort of lacking skill, not being good enough to be able to succeed. But there's um, the unemployment element is, is quite relevant to this card when it's in reverse. On the subconscious, we've got the Page of Cups in reverse, which is the Identity Crisis card as well. It's also a messenger card. And um, and so it's about feeling like an outsider in the world. And it's about um, having some kind of an identity crisis. It's also about uh, a particularly upsetting message when it comes to this card in reverse. There's always a message with the messenger cards, with the Page of Cups, because they are messengers. Uh, but when the card is in reverse, it's specifically an upsetting message. So we have here uh, a looming unemployment and also an upsetting message. It looks to me as though the cards are quite eager to be able to respond to this question. And it looks as though the Trump organization is not faring very well in the general reading. I won't know for sure until I've got the bottom four cards, but this would indicate there's a crumbling of the organization. And basically, it's because they were cutting corners and they were greedy and materialistic as well. So let's keep going. In the past, we've got the world in reverse. This is about an overdue birth, about delayed results, and also about a mediocre accomplishment. So it's sort of, it was never too special to begin with, is what the cards were saying. And that it's kind of overdue something. And uh, there's been a delay in being able to catch up to its reality uh, and that its achievements that it did have were sort of mediocre. These card, The cards are not being kind to the Trump organization. So I guess there's a, I don't know, let's keep going. And then in the short term future, there's a slight change here. This is about uh, celebration, community. Um, it's about ha having an easygoing life. It's about friendship. Now, it's hard to contextualize that. But what this could be is this could be that aspect that comes up with Alan Weisselberg, where he is still remaining loyal to the individual Trump family members. Uh, so the executive team, which is Ivanka and Don Jr. and, and Eric and, and, and Donald. And so it could relate to that element of friendship. It could also relate to this sort of e easygoing um, element that they have, where they still feel a bit impervious and they feel as though they're not uh, they're Teflon coated and nothing can touch them. I'm not sure. I'll have to wait and see until I see the very final card before I know for sure. So let's keep going. The way it sees itself. The way it sees itself. The way others see it on the environment in which it sits. Absolutely. Hopes and fears. Yep. And then the final outcome. Okay. Can you see, I don't know, sometimes when I'm doing my reading, I have a general feeling for how it's going to go before I've even put the cards down. And this is one of those days. So the way they see themselves is the Knight of Wands. And um, this is a lustful, enthusiastic card, but it lacks focus and can be really scatty. So sort of disorganized in some way. The way others see them or the environment in which they sit is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is about a lack of cooperation. This can be about colleagues turning on each other. And it's also about malicious um, gossip and lies. It can be about 
or not lying, slander. That's it, malicious slander and gossip, a lack of cooperation between people, and yeah, just sort of a dysfunction in the relationship of people who work together. So when I look at the dynamic, you've got uh, an upsetting message for the coming for the Trump organization. And there's also the possibility here of employment. This is about, it could be about closure. It could be about um, a ruin for the organization. It really doesn't look terrific so far. The disorganization um, element of this card, I think that there was a lustful endeavor to succeed in the Trump organization, but there was a lot of cost cutting. There was a lot of um, cutting corners, not doing things appropriately. And it created chaos and a sort of a, um, a, a sort of a business that was not really run as a as an effective business. It wasn't efficient. It was really just sort of um, fly by the seat of your pants kind of thinking is what it looks like. And then what we have here in the environment um, is that those who are going to be at the receiving end of scrutiny, such as the executives, um, which are basically the family members, are all now being they're concerned about their own um their own individual um accountabilities and there is a possibility that they're all going to begin folding like cards and actually turning on each other this is a lot of disloyalty in the workplace in this card here so when you look at the dynamic the trump organization is definitely in trouble in the Hopes and Fears um, card, this is um, the Five of Swords in Reverse is about conflict, tension and bullying. Um, and it goes as far as uh, mourning or funeral. And so this also is a reinforcement of the possible closure of Trump organization or its ruin in some way. Now, um, I'll tell you the last card and then I'm going to show you just how strong the message is that Trump organization is not going to be around for very long. The, so I think this is a fear card. It could also be a hope card. It all depends on whose who's perspective. But I do believe um, that it could very well be that it's, um, it's a fear card. I think we also have two possible perspectives here when it comes to the short-term future. This Three of Cups could be a celebration by the authorities. So I at the moment that I'm recording this, I'm not sure if I remember whether this is a Southern District of New York case or whether it's the Manhattan DA, whether it is the Department of Justice federal investigation. I can't recall. And that will be clarified in this in this uh, reading once I get into the editing phase. But I do believe this may actually be a celebration uh, more on the side of um, prosecutors who are actually uh, dealing on the government end because of the conviction of um, Alan Weisselberg, the fact that he's pleading guilty and taking a plea deal, that could be what relates to this card. However, it could also be his refusal to um, flip on the individual Trump family members, which could also be represented in this card. And the reason why I'm hanging on to that is because of this final card. So in the final outcome for this reading, we've got the five of pentacles in reverse. And this is about destitution and loss when when it's upright or in reverse. But when it's in reverse, there's also this possibility of getting some kind of support from another source. So help from a friend or something like that. That could end up being Alan Weisselberg. However, it's a real gamble because it can actually make things worse and you could lose everything. So let me take a look at the at the cards relating to um, the cards that specifically are talking about the longevity of the Trump organization. We have a greedy company here that is crumbling. We have a real risk right at the forefront of this meeting of this reading that stands right at, at the front in the conscious thoughts, which is about unemployment. We also have a rocky organization to begin with that was at best very mediocre. We've got some really bad, um, um, upsetting news that's coming. People turning on each other and the possibility of a funeral, which is not about death specifically. It can be about the ultimate end of the organization. And then we've got the real risk of losing everything and being 100% destitute. 
I think this is a really definitive reading that states that the Trump organization is in a very rapid downward spiral since the plea deal has been achieved for Alan Weisselberg. So it's all going to be a popcorn moment from this point on. That's what it looks like. Another feel good video for those of you who are so inclined as I am to feel that perhaps it was a feel good video. Um, I think that the cards were really definitive and almost enthusiastic about providing that message. I can sort of feel the enthusiasm coming out of the cards. The reading I've got to say left me with a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside. Before I go, I just want to remind you today is uh, we've got about 10 days left in the month of August and thereabouts. And on the 31st of August, that is the final day to be able to submit your design for Ellie submission, your designs. I'm looking through them now. I'm going to do a little video um, immediately following the end of the contest to be able to show you these designs and then announce the first, second and third prize winner. I'm going to tell you now that I change my mind every single day, several times a day. Every time I look at these designs, I can't decide which are my favorites. If you've got any that are currently in the making, you need to get them through to me by the 31st of August. US time is fine, so long as they arrive by the 31st of August. Because that's the strict deadline, there's been lots of time. I can't accept any designs for the competition anyway after the 31st of August. And then immediately following that, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and make my mind up as to which one I love the most. And then the second most and the third most. I got to tell you, it's really, really hard. I guarantee you, I change my mind all the time. Um, it's it's going to be really hard. <laughs> it's going to be really hard. I wish I could put everyone first, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to stick to my guns. And um, if anyone wants to take this off my hands and make the decision for me, let me let me know. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm going to do it myself. So anyway, I feel a bit gushy today. I don't know why. I think it's got to do with this whole Ellen Weisselberg thing above all else. Um, but um, I don't know. I just do. I feel really gushy. So before I, before I reveal any more of that, <laughs> I'm going to go and leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching. I love knowing you're here and I'll see you in my dreams. Bye.